If boiled just right, this clear, transparent juice will turn into a thick, gooey syrup. This process is the basis of making banella, a type of unrefined raw sugar. Banella is beloved in Colombia, where it's commonly consumed in place of processed white sugar. But this sweet nectar doesn't come cheap. In the US, it can cost 20 times more than white sugar. And in Colombia, depending on where it's made, panela can cost up to 17,000 pesos per kilogram. The purest form of panela is made by the indigenous communities of the Sierra Nevada de Santa Marta, the highest coastal mountain range in the world. Here, long distances, high temperatures, and limited resources make panela much more valuable than any other type of sugar. So, how is wild panela made? And is this what makes it so expensive? La panela pues está hecha de puro la guar de la caña y pues con eso es que nos tomamos y eso hace que nos, nuestro cuerpo eh, dé mucho más energía. Digamos que nos endulzamos. This is Antonio. He's a corgi, one of the four indigenous communities of the Sierra Nevada. To make panela, Antonio uses a sugar mill made out of wood. El trapiche está construido de, de unos palos que es fino nada más eh, para eso. Ese palo, algo se llama nemacula. Using this mill is hard work. It takes three people to keep it running. Two push the cane into the mill, while another one directs the mule that powers it. In todos casos, pues, todo es un poco difícil. Tenemos que estar pendiente de lo que estamos haciendo, porque muchas veces el trapiche nos ha hecho, digamos, que daño. Por, por el descuido, digamos, que estamos metiendo la caña ahí, y uh, por el descuido le podemos meter la mano y moler con la mano, y eso sí es muy peligroso. In order to extract sugar from the cane juice, Antonio and the others boil it along with water. It took Antonio and the others two hours to extract enough sugar cane juice to fill this pot. He uses dried sugar cane to fuel the fire. Después de echarle ahí, toca esperar que se que se calienta y todas las de toda la suciedad, eh, todos los que contienen o sea, sucio se amonta arriba para poder recogerla. The juice boils quickly and at very high temperatures, so hot that some of the sugar caramelizes. During the boiling process, the juice is constantly stirred and pushed to the bottom of the pot where the temperature is higher. Antonio then removes the water, revealing the sugar at the bottom of the pot. At this stage, when the sugar has a thick, gooey texture, it is called honey. Pues, es muy dulce, delicioso, sabe. Además, es un poco eh, gelatinoso y chicloso. Y pues, se siente como exquisito. Antonio scrapes it off and pours it into these molds where it will rest for a few hours and become panela. Milling sugarcane and boiling its juice like this preserves the molasses naturally present in the sugarcane, which is usually removed in refined white sugar or removed and added back in in brown sugar. The molasses gives the panela a more complex caramel flavor and makes it richer in minerals and vitamins. But this can only happen if the weather is right. Today, the weather is a bit too hot, so the honey needs to be bottled and transported to another village at a higher altitude to harden correctly. When the panela is dry, it is sold in one kilogram portions like this one, with 10 buckets of sugarcane 
Antonio can get 12 panelas. Pues la panela es tradicional desde siempre. Eso pues aprendemos desde la infancia. Digamos que pues eh, vemos a nuestro padre cuando nacemos eh, mirándolo pues eh, moliendo la caña y pues uno colabora. Digamos que a seguir atrás al mulo para que le pueda echarle. Y pues así aprendemos y ya. But it's not just the process that makes panela different from other types of sugar. It's the sugar cane it comes from. Por eso aquí en la Sierra Nevada, habemos cuatro étnicos lo que, lo que consumimos la panela. Pasa que hoy hay, hay cuatro clases de caña. Caña pijota, y cubana, y caña blanca y caña dulce. Agustín has lived here for the last 12 years. He's a local guide, connecting visitors to the Sierra Nevada de Santa Marta with his native Gorgi traditions. Y no se puede cortar así como cuando aquí. Tiene que limpiárselo así. Hay que limpiar. ¿Por qué? Para que se haga limpio la carne. Y ya está aquí cortado. Que esto hay que dejarlo para la próxima. Esto. Pues no puede cortar todo. Esto. No, hay que dejar siempre uno, como cinco carne así, como este tamaño. White sugar cane is native to this area of the Sierra Nevada and is what the Corgi community uses for its panela. As he harvests, Agustin also selects the best seeds to make new plants. This is for sembrar. This is the best thing for the seed. This is for the seed. This is the seed. I cut it like this. I cut it like this. One, two, three, four. I have here, here, here. I cut it like three pieces. I plant it so that it will grow. It takes a whole year for sugarcane to grow, and it heavily depends on the weather. While farmed varieties can rely on a constant supply of water, the sugarcane here in the Sierra Nevada relies on rivers, rainfall, and meltwater from ice caps, making them high in fiber but low in sugar. Farmed varieties, on the other hand, yield more sugar but are low in fiber. The sugarcane here is also very fragile, and proximity to other plants may kill it. Si yo marco con la coca, con la tabaco, si lo corto la caña, comienza a secar, o viene lo, la gusano o comejín. Sí, porque tabaco muy, muy venoso con ese, con ese mata. When he's finished, Agustín will walk to Antonio's mill, where sugarcane will be turned into honey, and then panela, all over again. A medida que se nos, se nos acabe la panela, volvamos a moler. Digamos que si sale cuatro baldes, llega nada más por la mitad de, de una botella que es grande. Y pues si hay, habemos bastante familia, pues se acaba rápido. Both the dry panela and the gooey honey are an essential part of the corgi diet. They are used in drinks like agua panela, an infusion of panela in hot water, but are also consumed on special occasions, like marriages and baptisms. Panela has an advantage over honey. It can be stored for longer, and it can be sold. More recently, and only to those who ask, the community has started selling it. But the moment that panela leaves the sugar mill, its price rises. This is the main road in this part of the Sierra. For panela producers to find buyers, they have to walk to the closest village, and that can take hours. Viene diferente lugares, distancia una de diez horas, de seis horas, de una hora, así. O sea, no vive así un cercano. The nearest village to Agustín and Antonio is two hours away on foot. Para nosotros es bajo precio. O sea, 
10 paneles está, o 20 paneles está a 25 mil pesos. Y de acá afuera está 100 mil pesos por la, por la caja. In town, this panela can cost up to 17,000 pesos per kilogram. That's more than four times the price of panela made from farmed sugar cane. But these high prices are exactly what the community wants. In the last few years, the indigenous communities of the Sierra Nevada de Santa Marta have worked hard to market their product fairly and invest in better infrastructure. The Arhuaco, another one of these four communities, has partnered with the UN and Ecopetrol, a major gas company, to modernize its sugar mills and get a license to sell wild panela abroad. The global rise in fame of panela as a healthy alternative to sugar is also contributing to increased demand. Panela made from farmed sugar canes has reached over $36 per kilogram, while indigenous varieties aren't yet exported. But there is a difference between what is currently available to consumers and the indigenous panela. Colombia is one of the world's top sugarcane producers, producing 2.3 million metric tons of sugarcane annually. Most sugarcane is farmed in giant monoculture plantations and needs excessive amounts of water to survive. According to the UN, sugarcane requires more water than any other crop to reach maturity, more than soy and maize. In the last decade, sugarcane has also been used to make ethanol, which is considered an important biofuel. This has ramped up sugarcane monocultures even more, and sugarcane crops now take up to 60 million acres of land worldwide. The overabundance of panela made from farmed sugarcane diminishes the competitiveness of the wild banana in the market, like the one Antonio and Agustin use here in the Sierra Nevada. But the isolation of the mountains makes keeping panela alive here challenging. In the last few years, snow has almost disappeared from some peaks in the Sierra Nevada. This means no meltwater in the summer, a crucial resource for sugarcane. The warming climate is also making it hard for panela to dry fully, and more and more families are either skipping the drying step and just making honey, which is more perishable and harder to sell, or they're moving their sugarcane mills to higher, even more remote mountain slopes. No lo consumimos panela, no tiene sangre, no tiene fuerza de sangre, no tiene oxígeno. 